showing you how to transform your desktop into Windows Bell Rig. So the first thing that you'll do is you'll click on the link provided in the description. And once you've done that, you'll right you'll go to this Google Drive folder. So what you'll do is you'll right click on the title and click download. And you will be downloading the file for Windows Belgrade. Once it's done downloading, you can close out of the tab and you can go to downloads. Once you go to downloads, you can right click on it then click extract all. Then click on browse and you're going to save it to the desktop. Then click extract. So now you can close these two windows. So what you're going to do is you're going to open the folder and you're going to click on the OS you're using. For instance, I'm using Windows 10. So now we're going to change up some things on the desktop. So what you're going to do first is you're going to click on the desktop folder and you're going to click on the link to the to the site to download Classic Shell. Classic Shell is a free and easy it's a free and safe program that allows you to change that allows you to change things on your desktop like your start orb taskbar, etc. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the language that you're using. And you're going to click download. Once it's finished downloading, you can close out of the tab. And you can go to, you can go to downloads. You can click on the setup. You can go through the setup process, and it's it's really quick and easy. Click yes. Click finish. So the first thing that you're gonna do once you've downloaded those. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here. And click classic shell start so once you've opened those you're going to go to the start menu style click on windows 7 style and click on select skin and click on windows arrow once you've done that you can go back to the start menu style click on replace start button click on custom then click on pick image you're going to go to the folder, click on the desktop folder, and then click on the Windows Belgrade Start button. So once you've done that, you're going to go to the Start button, then click on six, then click on six, then type in sixty for the button size. All right. So next thing we're going to do is going to go to Taskbar, click on the three dots, and click on the Windows Belgrade Taskbar texture. Once you've done all those things, you can click OK. Once you've done that, right click on the taskbar. If you have Cortana, you can get rid of it. And if you have the search box, you can hide that too. So now what you're going to do is you're going to right click on taskbar settings. Then, then click use small taskbar buttons. Alright. So once you've done that, you go over here to coppers. Click on transparency effects. Click on Mint Light, then check mark these two boxes. So it so you so the so the color scheme will apply to your start menu and windows and all like that. So once you've done that, you're gonna choose a wallpaper that you like from Windows Belgrade. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, click, click on personalize, click browse. Click go to the Windows Belgrade folder, and you're going to choose a wallpaper that you like. Um, I'll go with this one. Choose pictures. Now you should have the background that you chose. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to go to lock screen, click on browse, go, go to the backgrounds of wallpapers folder again, and you're going to click on the Windows Borgrid wall, login wallpaper. So choose the picture. So next time you log in or turn on your computer, your lock screen should look like that. Alright. 
So, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to change your account picture to the Windows Belgrade account picture. So what you're going to do, go to the start menu, click on PC settings, click on accounts, and you're going to go scroll down to create your picture, click browse for one. You're going to go to the Belgrade folder. This time you're going to click on account picture and then click on the account picture provided. So this is what your account profile picture will look like. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is you're going to change your screensaver to the Windows Belgrade screensaver. So what you're going to do, you're going to go down to the start menu, search in screensaver settings. Oh wait. So click on change screensaver. You're going to change your change your screensaver to photos. Click on settings. Click browse. You go down to the so you're going to go to the Belgrade folder, and this time you're going to click on the Windows Belgrade screensaver folder. Click OK. Make sure it's set to medium. Click save. So this is what your screensaver should look like, like up here on the tidy screen. Click apply. Okay. And also a couple more things. If you're using Vista, there's, all, there's dream scene wallpapers provided. So you have some dream scenes here. And also for people using Windows Vista and Windows 7, there's um there's boot screen animate there's boot screen animations. So yeah. So now you have fully transformed your desktop into Windows Belgrade. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun using